to deep right center field. It's over his head. It's out of here. Tyler Spoon is in a grand slam. Bernal dives, gets up, through sidearm in time. Breaking ball, strike three call. Whoa! Makes a great catch. on film right now on my glasses no way yeah they're uh they're something for razor no way yeah that's sick it's like for razor vision or something are you serious andrew yeah attendee everyone Andrew Benatendi. Benjamin. Andrew Benatendi, first one. Right here. Clark, right there. Yeah. Chris will tell you're on a uh, camera right now. How's it going? Well, I mean, you walk straight on the plane, you get going, you don't have to go through security and things like that. It's a lot, it's a lot easier. And uh, we had meals waiting for us on the plane. It, it's really, it's, a, it's the way to go if you can. I mean, it's awesome. You feel like a big leaguer in a way. You know, just having the advantage to have a charter jet, just hop on the plane, be there an hour and a half or however long it takes. Um, definitely an advantage for us. It's definitely more convenient. Um, you're not as tired. You're not as, uh, you don't have as much jet lag. So it's just, um, you get there, it's almost just like a hour and a half car ride, honestly. Um, get there and you're ready to play. When you arrive at the hotel, get your stuff, you got about an hour um, before we go practice. And it's always fun to practice on the other team's field to, you know, get to see like, you know, the kind of stadium they have and the facilities that they have. Yeah. Razor Vision? They won like a... Yeah, you're on right now. <laughs> yeah. Dang, that looks a lot further than 404. Clark, you want to toss? Or are you tossing or something? He'd be honored. He'd be honored. Sir. Stop, Brian. You you wear him here. Take him. Benny Sean. There's the Brian Anderson. All American, right there. Do they, are they different? They look stupid, don't they? They look really dumb. Yeah. play catch pitchers if you guys would you can continue your throwing program stay as far down as you can and bring your pod bumps while they pitch. So you go out there and you're going PFP, yeah. run around the bases, ready to play. All right. Anyway. Let's go. Have a good day. Hey. 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 Team on three, one, two, three. Go with Benny and make sure you get a guy covering each side because we're going to go two fungo system. You know what I mean? So we got a center fielder for right field, we got a center fielder for left field. Clark, you go to left. All right. JJ, go to left. All right. Here you go, Benny. I'm just playing the left center to have a quick Benny. Be your center fielder on each side. There. Left. Or right. There it is. Ball, 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 ball. Who we throw this into? Thursday, we like to come out and just uh, 
take some BP on the field, uh, you know, get some ground balls here and there, some pot fly communication uh, with the wind and with the, you know, the sun going down as well when we practice at night. Um, it's just really important because you know the, those factors play in in the game. Um, games over the weekend. You got to be ready to practice. Obviously, you got to be intense, but at the same time, it's just a practice. Uh, at the same time, you know, you, if you, you're doing it to get better. You want to learn. Um, you just got to be really focused and really pay attention to how the field plays. You just got to really uh, know your surroundings. You just got to really uh, pay attention to detail on the road, um, especially on that Thursday practice because it's the only practice you're going to get there. Team on three, one, two, three! Team. partnership we have in Arkansas and I think there's such a respect for the legacy and tradition this whole attitude of the embodiment of really what a Razorback is SEC games especially are just so tough, but the main thing on the road is just uh, you, you got to be mentally ready uh, because you're going to get their best and they're playing in front of their home crowd, so uh, you got to be ready for anything. Hey, make sure we communicate. Two to second. Yeah. Okay. Hey, remember, long hop, no hop. Team on three, one, two, three. Let's go, Jiggy. Top fish six. There you go, Brownie. There you go, Bobby. They don't like that. Dude. See if he puts it. Oh, Jiggy. Oh, the ankle, though. Get him, Tiger. And Ollie. Nice. Hey, you go, get that energy out. Let's go. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here we go, boys. We greet you tonight from Keithan Stadium in Gainesville, Florida. Conference play has arrived for the Razorback baseball team, and it begins tonight with the opening game of a three-game series against the Florida Gators. One, two, three, three. Batter hitting 296. Wernus creeps in at third. Martin runs well. Pretty good bunter. First pitch is an off-speed delivery, and it's in there for a strike. The left-handed hurler gets ready to pitch. Turgeon does square. Gets the bunt. Now it's a good bunt. The pitcher fields it. Beeks is going to tag the runner as he comes by. The sacrifice is good. That calls the balk call. Pitch is on the way now. Swinging a ground ball to third. That's going to score a runner. Wernus backhands it. Throws to first. Out there is Alonzo, but in to score is Martin. Florida out to an early lead. The three twos high and away. Fisher works him for a one out walk. Come on. Go, roll up, babe. The right handed hitting shortstop waits on the right handed freshman. Yes, yes, yes. The runner goes. Florida pitches out. The pitch out was high, way high. The catcher couldn't get down to make the throw. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Swing and a line drive in the left center field. That's toward the gap. It's down for a hit and it's going to tie the ball game. Egan's going to round first and try to turn it into a double. They throw him out there, but Fisher scores on the RBI single, and the game is tied. The 0-2 for Beeks is on the way, and he struck him out. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball. First strikeout for Beeks. The pitch is on the way. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's going to get a run home. Bernal fields it at short and throws Turgeon out at first. End of score is Sternigal, and Florida leads it 2-1. Two balls, two strikes. Gashu waits on Beeks. Here it is, swing and a miss. Blew him away with a fastball. Beeks with his second strikeout. You know, Beeks, he, you know, he did a great job of battling through some innings and not having his best stuff and kind of relying on a fastball that he didn't locate like normal. Uh, threw a pretty good change up, and he gave us a chance to win the game. From the belt, the payoff pitch is a cold strike three over the outside corner. Painted the black with a fastball. You know, he's young, he's got a great arm. 
great learning experience and, uh, you know, proud of him. The left-hander ready to deal. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a high fastball. Maybe that bodes well for the Hogs of the ninth. We head that way with four and up, two to one. Set to bring it 0-2. Here it is. Check swing. He went around. That's a strikeout. Pops out of the catcher's bed. He fires to first, and the ball game is over. You know, I thought the pitching staff, they did a great job. Anytime you're losing one-run games, they're not scoring very many. You know, that's all you can ask pitching staff. we got to get it going on the other side of the game, which is the offense. Wernus had a couple of steps at third. The one-two's on the way, and he struck him out. A swing and a miss on a hard slider. Got a breaking pitch. Now the three-two's on the way. Swinging a high fly ball into right center field. On the move is Ben Benintendi. That one is over his head, and it is out of here. And Florida has taken a one-to-nothing lead. Here's the payoff. Gashu swings and misses at a breaking ball to end the inning. The 0-2's on the way, and he struck him out. Here's the 1-2. Tobias strikes out with two strikes. Killian delivers, and it's swung on and missed. And they may not have a win to show for it. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Got him with a high hard one. Killian reared back and blew it by him. He did a great job. You know, he got in trouble a couple other innings. He battled his way out of it. You know, he got that one pitch. You know, they, they have a good approach getting that fastball away, and, uh, you know, put a good swing on it and carried over the fence, unfortunately. One and two, the runner goes, the pitch is swung on and missed, and the ball game's over. It's going to be all about somebody getting it done, and I don't know who the guy has to step up. You know, you you got guys that are older, that have been here. Um, everybody's looking at them to do it, and uh, hopefully one of them will get it done. Well, lots of teams are in a similar spot. Florida's got a couple of guys in their lineup hitting below 200. There's a long one to left field. That ball's hit well. Moving toward the line is the left fielder, and that ball's gone. That ball's gone, and it's a home run. The wind was trying to push it foul. Schaefer went as far as he could. It got up in that wind, and it helped the ball to left. We thought it might. Why is this its first home run, and the Hogs are up two to nothing? It seems like he's seen the ball really well, and that's you know, that's always something you want to see. He's taking pitches that are out of the zone. You know, he's he's making good solid contact on the pitches that he's trying to get. You know, that's that's big for him, and uh, and he's always solid behind the plate. You know, he's a great guy. Dunning's working from the stretch. Baxendale squeezes on, bunch down. First baseman fields attacks. Baxendale out and in to score is Tyler Spoon. Pick off throw. Here's the 2-2 breaking ball. Strike three call. Tobias fooled. He took it, and the inning's over. Right-handed pitcher. Whitson works from the stretch. First one's lined into center field. That's a base hit. Ben Intendi scores. They'll hold Spoon at third with nobody out. Fisher drives in the run, and it's 7-3. to three. There's still some work to do, but they've got a five-run lead in the night. Wild pitch. That's going to get another run in through the wicket of the catcher. Anderson scores, and it's 9-3. to three. Run from the belt. Michael's ready. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high pop-up that should end it behind second base. Who wants it? How about Anderson? Brian makes the catch, and the ball game's over. It's a huge win for us. I mean, you know, there might, I don't know if anybody in the West – won three games so you know the most we can be down is one game and and that's 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 where we try to we're within striking distance and you know it's a grind we got nine weekends left in SEC play and some tough games in between and so like I told them you know enjoy this until we get on that maybe until we get off that plane in Fayetteville. Florida was just uh it, it was a tough atmosphere uh, good team you know you just got to be mentally ready on the road no matter what and uh, you look at last year we did really well on the road and that's something I think we can still carry over with all the experience we have from last year that uh, going forward we can still have on the road. at Hog Heaven, the official team store of Arkansas Athletics, where all proceeds benefit Razorback student-athletes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, you. Did you know that shirt you bought back there isn't officially licensed? You have to look for the label before you buy any product that features University of Arkansas logos or phrases. That's the only way to know that your purchase is helping to benefit the Razorbacks. See, they've got it figured out. Next time, remember to look for the label before you buy. For more information about the University of Arkansas's trademark licensing program, visit ArkansasRazorbacks.com.
SEC home games are awesome, especially when you have you know 8,000 screaming fans behind you. We have some of the greatest fans in the country. Uh, day in and day out, they're going to come and support us. We're going to have a decent crowd. You know, our, our bad crowd is better than most uh, people's good crowd. I came down here, um, I want to say two years ago, against South Carolina. I, I think there was probably around 9,000 at every single game. So, I mean, they really caught my eye and uh, how the crowd can really uh, play a significant role in the game. And I mean, it was a big part of my decision in coming down here. It's just all about the Razorbacks here in Arkansas. Um, it's, just, it's just awesome to play in front of a huge crowd. Bama trying to break out on top of the second. The one-two's coming. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with some high heat. Third strikeout for Beats for the second straight inning. Bama gets a one-out double and comes up empty. The lead on first movement. He's not running. The three twos line toward right center field. That's down for a hit. This one's to the gap. And Alabama takes a one to nothing lead. Jackson's one twos on the way. Swinging a ground ball fair. Pass third down the line into the corner. That's going to score one run, maybe two. Egan has trouble digging it out of the corner. That's going to allow Smith to score all the way from first base. It's a two run double. And Alabama leads it three to nothing. Blitz going to pitch from the full windup. First one from the right-handers on the way, and it's swung on and into deep right center field. On the move is the right fielder Moore. It's over his head. It's out of here. Tyler Spoon is in a grand slam. And the Razorbacks, just like that, have taken a 4-3 to three lead. Spoon raced around the bases. And that was no home run, Trot, was it? No. Seeing Tyler stay inside that ball and drive it out of the park opposite field, that was that was huge. Even if even if the wind had been blowing, that, that ball's off the wall for a bases uh, clearing double. Um, it was good to see us come back down three runs like that. Checks and deals, White swings and misses and strikes out. Zach Jackson delivers, runner from first goes, swinging a shot to left field. That ball's hit well. Spoon going back at the track, at the wall, it is gone. A three-run homer for Wade Wass, and Alabama's gone up eight to four. You know, I guess every now and then this happens. It was just kind of disappointing that it happened tonight. The positives are just, we got to take the momentum we had at the end of the game, take it into the, tomorrow. You know, we just kept battling, kept uh, fighting, just keep, kept chipping away. Um, it's important to keep come to the ballpark tomorrow and keep doing it. They're calling the Hogs here at Bob Stadium. Across the chest and block lettering outlined in white. And there's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Georgie Salem down on strikes. And Trey Killian with his first K of the ball game. One, two pitch. Swung on and missed. Fastball blew it by him. Couple of Ks for Killian in the top half of the first inning. They are defeated when they score last. Alabama doesn't get on the board here with a strikeout swinging. That's Killian, and Arkansas escapes the second by Moore. 0 1, runner goes, pitch misses, throw down to second, is on the money, and Wise guns down Moore. So that'll do it for Alabama in the third. Clapping their hands. 3 2. Swung on and popped up first base. Behind first. Baxendale going out. Anderson makes the call and the catch. He drops it though. He dropped it at the last second, and a run comes in to score. 1 0 Alabama. Top half of the fourth. Two outs and the 0 2. A swing and a miss. And Trey Killian is fired up with a fist pump after the K. Ready for the 1 2. Here it is. Swing and a line drive up the middle. Base hit. Two out single for Wilkerson. Down one nothing in the seventh. The pitch. Swung on, looped down the right field line. It drops in for a base hit. First pitch home. Swung on, line drive, base hit center field. And Arkansas ties it up. 3-2. Low and in. Brian Anderson leads off the eighth with a walk. Spoon showing bunt. And he puts one down right in front of the mound. Picked up by Burroughs. His only play is to first. He makes it. Burroughs operating from the third base side of the mound. Deal. Swung on. Lines. Loop down into left field. Base hit. They're going to send Anderson around second. The throw is offline. Anderson scores. And Arkansas takes a 2-1 lead. You know, just an incredible job by Trey Kay and, and uh, showed a lot of heart. I mean, what you saw today is what we got last weekend from him at Florida. And we got beat one nothing. And, uh, you know, we didn't, we, we haven't really backed him up all year. Uh, 
He's been incredible the last three weekends. Trey goes out there and, I mean, you can see the energy out there. I mean, he brings all of us up and it's always fun getting to play behind him when he's pitching and just getting to get that game winning run in and, you know, allow him to get the win and, you know, kind of earn what he should have earned. After this pitch, 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Chris Oliver starts out the game exactly how he wants to with a strikeout of Georgie Salem. 0-2. No Swung on, lined up the middle. Diving stop made by Bernal. Throws back to first, and they double up Mikey White. Beautifully done. Bernal flashing the leather up the middle. And Smith's working the count. The 3-2, a swing and a miss. And Chris Oliver with a big fist pump after he strikes out Austin Smith for the second K of the ball game for the righty. Doing work on the mound, here's the 3-2. Swung on and driven to deep left field. Going back is Houston, back on the track, at the wall, leaps and it's off the wall. And he is in there with a stand-up triple. Go, keep going. Offering on the one-two, grounded up the middle. That's going to score the run. Is Overstreet behind the bag? Throws to first in time, but a ground out RBI for Bobby Wernis, and the Hogs are up one nothing. He's ready to go once again, and a pop up, foul side first base. Oliver comes over, slides, and makes the catch. Could probably go the last two innings. One, two, swung on and missed. High fastball. And Haney went fishing and came up empty. Gunn knows what he wants. Winds, kicks, and fires. Swung on and grounded to short, should do it. High hop for Bernal. Field throws over to first in time. And Arkansas holds on for a 1 0 win to take the series from Alabama. This was Chris Oliver's best outing since he's been here. Um, he really pitched today. Uh, he, he actually changed speeds on his fastball. He uses breaking ball a lot. Uh, spotted in some, you know, mixed in a few changeups, and I thought, you know, did a good job of keeping, excuse me, Alabama off off balance. It feels good. Um, I know our guys at the plate. They battled. They tried to get that guy's pitch count up. Their starter. Uh, they got him out of the game. Uh, trying to put on a couple more runs. It didn't happen, and then Gun came in and shut it down. We gotta win some games. We gotta we gotta climb up, you know, that ladder on the on the W's. Swung on head into deep right center field. It's over his head. It's out of here. Tyler Spoon is in a grand slam. Bernal dies. Gets up. Full sidearm in time. Breaking ball. Strike three. Call. Whoa.